Okay, I'm here at an old home site. Been here once before, but I'm back with the mini coil. Let's see what we missed. Got some good stuff last time, but I don't know if you can kind of see. There's the rock outline, that square there. So hopefully, and I got Gunner here. It's raining like crazy, so bear with me if there's some water on the lens at some point. It is drenched. I mean, I'm in my uh, my army uh, raincoat. So, see if I can stay dry, find some treasure. Well, there's my first relicy thing. Got myself a piece of a watch or a clock. There we go. I think I got some sort of cool button. What's that say? Crown B and L brand. Nice. Oh, look at this. What is that? That's a big old beautiful button of some kind. Wow, look at the... <laughs> it's crazy. It's a great design. Well, it's a new one for me. Well, I'm starting to do pretty good on the buttons. There's my third one. It's just like a little hole I think well I just found a really neat drawer pull I don't have any water on me so when I get it cleaned up I'll show you what it really looks like see a bunch of writing and all kinds of stuff on there okay I got it cleaned up about the best I can out here I have no idea <laughs> there's definitely letters but it seems like it's a different language or something I can't really make out any of the words. I thought it was going to say Philadelphia, but it says Philada. I don't know. Maybe you guys know. Okay. Right near this apple tree. I got a little deep height, huh? What is it? Oh, dude, it's a token. That is awesome. Let me uh, clean this sucker up. Okay, so it says good for 10 cents in trade. And then it says Mission Club, San Ignatius, Montana. And one of the nicknames for San Ignatius is Mission. I'll have to look that up. Oh, I love tokens, man. Fun thing about them is you just never know what they're going to say. I got a really cool token in the last episode. I keep this going. Man, I'm having some kind of luck today. Look at that. I think I got a ring. Sure. Somebody's ring. Dang. Let me clean it up and see if there's a mark. Well, I was hoping it was silver, but I think it's a brass ring. But that's still really cool. I mean... These people were probably so poor, this probably meant so much to them, and they were probably just devastated to lose it. That's so cool when you find a ring at one of these old home sites. Awesome. I got a little bit more time tonight. Let me see what else we can get. Man, what a long, hard day. Looks like we did it, guys. Silver in the hole. Oh. Look at that, it's a barber. So I'm not going to rub it up too much. It's like 1906. It's beautiful. Okay, after I clean it up, I'll show you close up. Look at that. Nothing like a little silver. Oh, awesome. So I did not expect to find that. But I don't know what it is. Is it jewelry? What is that? That's strange. Okay, so my battery died. And then my very next signal, I saw a big silver pop out. Now, I don't know what it is. But I went and got my battery so I could film this. What is that? 
Crazy piece of jewelry. Oh, I see. It's religious. So this is not far from that barber dime. Let me clean it up. Okay, so I guess this is some sort of Mary pendant. It says, Oh, Mary conceived without sin. Go forth and... I don't know. Anyways, there's also a date. It says, I think it says 1830. And that's the other side. Tell me that isn't amazing. And that's no doubt sterling. How cool. Okay, I clean these up. And it actually says sterling on it. So I ended up with three silvers today. What the heck? Look, look at all that field. I got all that silver right out in there. I have definitely not swung all this. I'll be back. Anyways, this way exceeded my expectations. This was amazing. I hope you guys liked it. Hey, see you next time.